we are in an era where it feels like science is under attack. Federal scientists are being withheld from meetings. Their reports are being censored. That is very disturbing to me. Science is, at its rawest form, apolitical. Ice doesn't care whether you're a Republican or Democrat, it just melts. I am a scientist, but that's not who I am. I'm a father, I'm a husband, and I'm someone that cares about not only the community I grew up in, but the global community. I've been interested in weather since fifth or sixth grade. I was never interested in forecasting the weather. I was more interested in the how and why. The questions from my youth stayed with me through my time at NASA, at the University of Georgia, and at the Weather Channel. They really are what motivate me today. The 2017 hurricane season was a game changer in many ways. The intensity of those storms really caught many of us off guard. Harvey produced five feet of rainfall. Irma remained a category five for longer than any storm we've seen in that basin. That's directly related to the temperatures of the ocean and one of the unsung ways that climate is changing. When I see a Hurricane Harvey, and I know a week in advance that that's going to be a humanitarian crisis, the one-two punch of Category 4 winds and five feet of rainfall, I knew that's probably going to kill people. That's not something that I take lightly. It's actually upsetting at times when people look at scientists as people that have agendas or people that want grant money. This is not about a grant. I will look someone dead in the eye and say, I hope you are right that this is a hoax, because if I'm right, my kids lose. The small community that I grew up in was a little typical southern Georgia town. It was a community of moderate to lower income families, marginalized community that's predominantly African American. Those types of people that I grew up around are some of the people most vulnerable to extreme weather and climate events. Have a hurricane barrel through and you lose property or you have medical expenses, of course, people that are already economically vulnerable are going to experience more hardship. Upton Sinclair says it's difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends on him not understanding it. That statement provides a lot of the context for the attacks and the innuendo that we as scientists have to deal with. And that's why it's even more important for our scientists to get outside of the ivory tower and make the science accessible. Today on Weather Geeks, we're gonna look at the rest of the 2017 hurricane season. So far, we've had a record-breaking season. What does the rest of the season have in store? We'll tell you next on Weather Geeks. The Weather Channel is actually one of the most established brands in the world. And through that brand, we can reach people in a way that I could never reach just through a peer review journal or presenting at a science conference. I'm willing to advise from the Waffle House to the White House on this issue. Climate affects our lives in ways that people don't even think about. If there's drought in the Midwest, it affects the price of cereal that they may buy. These types of kitchen table issues are what we need to convey more of to the public. If I were to draw a cumulus cloud, what, how would I draw that? And we have misinformation being propagated to teachers and kids about climate science. We have federal scientists being restricted from speaking at meetings that they were scheduled to speak at. Controlling science, controlling results, we're limiting the possibility of a future breakthrough. This generation's children give me hope. 
I think they'll break the generational cycle. When you see the light bulb go off, it gives you energy because you know that that's the next CEO or the next engineer that can address some of these problems. I am optimistic about the future of science in America. Will we have challenges? Yes. But we've always moved the needle forward. This is not a game. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the future of our kids, and it's about our present, too.